Hello and welcome back to Great Scott Gamers. My name is Dave and today we are playing a game called Baton Kytos or Baton Kytos, don't really know how to pronounce it. Eternal Wings and the Lost Ocean. Now this is interesting for me. I'm really excited to be playing this because I, as you can see on the screen here, it says 2003. I, ha I owned this game when it came out for the Nintendo GameCube and it's one of my favourite types of games. It's a GRPG, it's a turn-based strategy game. Um, and the reason I'm excited to play it again is because I actually got stuck. I never finished it. There was a point in the game where I basically saved at a point where I couldn't progress anymore. Uh, it was one of those types of games, so I actually got stuck and never went back to it. So I'm that really excited to play it again seems to like you. and to share it with you guys. If you can bond with it, but something um, wonderful may happen to you. Something Are wonderful. You ready? I'm ready. Um, another reason that it's interesting to me, I think, is because it's... What the fuck's going on here? Hug me! It's, I think it's actually quite a rare game as well. I'm not sure on that one, but I remember when I... See, I, I stupidly traded this game in because, like I say, I got stuck and I got really angry. And rather than try to play it again from the beginning, I was like, nope, fuck that. Um, so I traded it in. So this, this copy actually was given to me by Mark, so I was very grateful. Hello? Hello? Can I... May I ask your name? Of course you can. I think I, he's asking who I am. I am male. And my name is... Aslord. Yeah! That, that sounds like a good uh, good name for a, for a, for a god so of some kind. Aslord, huh? <laughs> Brilliant. Um, so yeah, I'm very grateful to Mark for giving me this game. Um, so that not only can I play it for you guys, but I get to experience it all through again. Um, so yeah, I, I don't remember anything about the story. Um, I'm kind of getting to, to know, I guess. So look at this guy, he's got wings, he's, he can fly, the main character's awesome. Uh, Callus is his name. He's, I don't know if he's... Uh, uh, Callus by name, Callus by nature. Oh shit, people burning? That's not good. Classic um, classic JRPG intro where the, uh, the hero is put into some kind of... Uh, hor horrific event straight out, straight away. It's like some horrific past. My horrific past shapes my future. Um, but yeah. So, um, come free us whoa. from a thousand years of darkness. Okay. A millennium of solitude and suffering. Beautiful white wings for you. Okay. For the world, death and destruction. Uh -oh. that... <laughs> That's not something to laugh about, dear. Seems a bit harsh. So yeah, I don't know what the wings are, are, are all about. Can't, I genuinely can't remember anything about the storyline, but um, I remember the character, the main character. I was watching the wee intro um, when it first began, and I don't really recognise any of the other characters, but I recognise this guy. So, mmm, Ard. Guess he had a rough night last night. Where am I, indeed? Well, I think this is ringing a wee bit of a bell. I, lo I really like the design of the character most because I love characters with blue hair. <laughs> Whoa, look at that face! Let's sniff, smell the fire acting. Has he lost his wings? Ah, I see you have awakened. How do you feel? He doesn't. Not only does he get his head cut off by this, the uh, the screen, but he's, he doesn't get a, a name. He doesn't get a real name. Who are you? Why am I here? <laughs> what do you do to me? Why is my, my wallet thicker language. than it was before? I'm oh, he does get doctor any. Here at Sebelrai. Sebelrai. They found you lying unconscious in the woods nearby and brought you here. Okay. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I remember now. I was attacked by rock cats. Rock cats. Rock cats. How That's a great name for a band. How stupid of me to let those rock cats get me again. They were only rock cats. <laughs> they are herbivores. So wait, they attack. Why it's did they attack then? Ah, right. Okay. So it's a strange thing. Makes sense. I'm, the I'm supposed to be puzzled. Forest have been acting quite peculiar lately. I'm not sure why, but they're much more aggressive than they used to be. Maybe it's because they're progressive you rocks. Ha <laughs> <stay away laughs> get it. Ah, uh, brilliant. You better stay. All oh, right, you said that already. I'm used to having to read these things, so the voice acting is going to help me out a wee bit. What do you call yourself? I don't yeah, recall man. seeing you around these parts. Also, why do you have my wings? My name's Callus. Callus. This is my first time here. 
which is why I got lost, I guess. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Chuckle. Thomas, is it? Well, it sure to is. Village, boy. Thanks. It looks like you took quite a blow to the head. So I was worried you might have amnesia. But you seem to be quite fine. a blow, as did I. Mm -hmm. If you feel up to it, you're welcome to take a look around the village. Well, thanks. We're only a small farming community on the frontier. So, I'm afraid there isn't that much to see. Oh, well, great. That should make for good uh, good viewing for you guys at home. By the way, <laughs> I left your winglet over winglet. there. By the window. Quite I had an some design chicken. For a winglet, I must say different from those used by the Empire. Uh, of course, the Empire. Oh, it's always the Empire. I wonder if they struck back of any kind. It was handcrafted by my grandfather. He was ah. an excellent engineer. And then he burned to death in a village. Ah, I see. I thought he said, I see your grandfather. Where? And how is he doing? He's dead. Yep. He died. Yep, there you go. Two years ago. Ah, so that was only two years ago? Is that so? I'm... I... Sorry to hear that. I should fucking think so, Larakush. What kind of a name is that, anyway? The name of a guy who oversteps his boundaries well, in conversation. Thanks for the help, Doc. I owe you one. Oh, don't say that. He's going to get you to do a quest now. Actually, there you go. The one you should oh, I should. Actually, that's Mimai that's true. Let's do some. Mimai. In the woods and carried you here. She sounds like a an extra character of some kind. Mimai, is it? No, it's Mimai, not Mimai. You pronounced it wrong. How dare you? Right, did I get control yet? Oh man, look at his weird curly toes. Nope, don't get control. I'm gonna watch him walking over to this winglet. Slow and steady wins the race. Yeah, so now he's the one-winged angel. So I, I, I think one of his wings is real. One of them's fake. Well, I don't know. That should do it. Let's get I should going. think so. Yeah, so now can I walk about now? No. Oh, scene change and now I can. Sweet. Oh, who are, who are these people? Who's this? Oh, you must be the traveller they found unconscious in the woods. You should ask me for advice if you want to have better luck in the future. Wait, what? What should we ask her about? Ask Lord! <laughs> Best. Right, okay, so I'm gonna do a bit of reading here and figure out how to play the game. After you thank me, my, will you visit the village mayor's house? He seemed very concerned about you. Okay, so, uh, yeah, she basically gave- oh! Medical tools and confusing charts are stored here. Fantastic. Um, so yeah, she basically w was a bit of a tutorial on like Magnus, which is the name of the uh, I, like the cards that you use in battle. Uh, you see an afterworld drawing of the human body. You feel a bit queasy, yeah. Uh, that's like real life. Never was never good at biology. Um, so yeah, so the uh, I didn't really explain that earlier on. The the battle system is is turn based, but it's like you play it with cards. So it's like a deck builder game where each uh, character like uses cards. Oh, what's going on here? Fucking hell. And uh, so they're, they're called Magnus, so we need to like build them up and stuff. Sabourai, the farming hamlet. Filled with weird chicken things. Is this a Final Fantasy game or something? Um. Oh, up and around already, are we? Many, many. I'm not surprised Dr. Larakush can cure just about any injury or ailment in no time at all. You know what? Now that you're feeling better, why don't you go see the village mayor? It seems there's something he's itching to tell you. Oh, great. Get out of here, boy! Get out of my village! Oh, who's this? We're gonna have a cutscene? Hey, Sweet. what's that thing you got strapped to your left shoulder? Is that a winglet? Why, why would you ask what is that and then yes, say it what it is? <laughs> what is that? Is that well, this? Like, me. describes it in detail. They say the Empire has tons of them. But That's right. But you barely see any down here in the boonies. Boonies! looks... A little strange. Thanks for noticing. It's custom built. My grandfather made it for me. Before he died two years ago in a fire. It's so rare. Dr. Larry Kush asked me about it too. Man. Really? The doc asked you? I didn't know he had an interest in wing rings. Oh, he's a bad guy. He's from the Empire. He's the type that enjoys fiddling with machinery. Oh, he enjoys fiddling with something else, all right. got the left one on. Is the other one being repaired or something? No, I've got a wing. No, one is enough. <laughs> I don't have a left wing, so my grandfather crafted this winglet for me as a replacement. Say what? Oh, I see. That's why. Sorry for meddling. So yeah, so somehow the main characters no get wings. They work perfectly fine, and together they get me where I want to go. Well, that's good. 
Can I like Krillin from Dragon Ball? Your grandfather must have been an excellent engineer. He I sure mean, was. A custom-made winglet. Wow. wow. That's amazing. Yeah. He'd make and fix all sorts of things. You could almost say he was a magician. Ha! Huh. But that would be false because he was an engineer. And he built real things. Not magical things. The magical things will come later. Hey, wait a minute! You must be the guy they found unconscious in the woods. You better take a Pokemon, it's dangerous to go alone. Take this. How are you gonna make it as an adventurer if you keep fainting during your travels? Hey, are you trying to pick a fight or something? What are you trying to say there, huh? Whoa, calm down there. I just want to give you some advice, and we've got pretty much the same voice. So you'll fare for better from now on. During your travels, have you ever thought? No, I've never thought in my life. I wish I hadn't lost that battle, or if only I were stronger. Yeah, when the, at that point when I fucking uh, got to the game, the point in the game where I couldn't progress. I should, wish I'd known that. If that's the case, then you might want to learn more about this blue flower beside me. They say this flower records the memory of those travelers who step into its embrace. Ah, it's a safe point. I've also heard of travelers being transported to a mysterious church and returning stronger than before they entered. What? To tell you the truth, I haven't tried the flower myself. Why? But you still, but still, I thought I would tell you about it. How do you know about it if you haven't tried it? These mysterious flowers exist all throughout the world. It would be wise to make use of them. Okay, great. So, I see. I'll check it out later. Why won't I check it out now? Oh, by the way, in a fucking hell. In addition to the blue flowers, there are also red flowers. They kill you. They only let you save progress. Uh, keep that in mind, all right? Yeah, well, thanks. Oh, can I? These barrels appear to be empty now because I took all the contents. Ah, uh, give us all your shit. Can I not use this? Oh, I can. Visit the church. Let's go to church. Let's get stronger. Whoa, what? I don't remember this. Lots of JRPGs seem to have a church theme. Hmm, what do you want? No, that's not what he says at all. What to do? What to do? I don't know what to do. What? What? Oh, that's the menu. Uh, let's see, is there something up here to talk to? Oh. Another adventurer. Do you stand before me in search of greater power? Uh, whoa, whoa, what are you talking about? I don't get it. Where am I anyway? Those who seek spiritual growth visit this church to pray. If you have earned enough experience through your travels, your prayers will be answered. Ah, so you have to like hand in your experience. This may be confusing at first. I will try to answer any questions you may have. What would you like to know? Okay, so I'm going to have to read this as well. Simply winning battles is not enough to increase your various strengths and capabilities. You need to pray before the altar and reflect on your experiences. Only then will you truly learn and your abilities will improve. This is the only way to realize and fulfill one's true potential. Pray within these shadow dolls. Remember that the power of realization can only be attained through prayer. Visit this church whenever possible to learn of your true powers and abilities. Okay, uh, so that's, I guess that's why I got stuck. Because <laughs> I didn't do this. Or maybe I think the save point I got stuck at was was uh, red. You will find artifacts in this world, items of great power, even in Magnus form. These items retain the magic and will help you prepare for even greater ordeals. If you desire to possess such trends, bring me the required Magnus, and its ex inexpressible gift shall be entrusted to you. Sorry, I didn't uh, didn't expect that large word coming out of my mouth. The power bestowed upon you from these special Magnus will be of different quality than that of normal level up. Great. Uh, no, that w those were the only two things I could ask. So, thanks. Go forth and answer. Go forth and multiply, so that many of your improve your abilities. Right. So this is a level up zone. Makes sense. Return to adventure. Do nothing. Right. Um. Let's save the game uh, on a new file. There we go. So that top one is the old file I, I, I played for 33 and a half hours in 2006. Fucking hell, 13 years ago. And I got stuck. <laughs> so my my name was my name back then, and now I'm Ass Lord. <laughs> Fantastic. So let's see if we can get further than the last time. Although 33 hours, how many episodes is that? That's fucking ages. Um, I think that's actually about halfway through the game as well. What the hell? What's oh, Griffin pig things? This prancer is sensitive to hot weather. He's grown weak from the saddle sud heat. If you lived in a cooler climate, I'm sure you'd recover, but what can I do? What can you do? The milk and eggs produced here are sold east of this village in Perkad. With the money from the sales, we buy goods in the city. That's our way of life here in Sebar... Seb... Sebelrai. 
Maybe you can set it, I can't pronounce it. Take a look behind you, those prancers or something, right? Common horse is no match for its standout strength. Fantastic. Woman with a bracelet. Oh, hello there. It's a fine day today, isn't it? I hope it doesn't get too much hotter. If it gets too hot, the pows will become fatigued and lazy. If that happens, their meat will get fatty and unmarketable. Can't afford poor pow sales during this season, of course not. The pow is all about... Oh shit, what's going on here? Oh, you must be a traveller. I'll bet you're from Furacab, right? Eh, uh, I don't know. This village is boring. I mean, there's nothing to do here. Yeah, that's great. Oh, great content. Furcad. Oh, it's not Furcad. It's Furcad. Jewel of the East, city of my hopes and dreams. Outsiders might not see what's so special about a small city on this frontier island, but I can hardly wait each week for the day when we sell our wares in the city. One of these yeah, days, yeah, because she wants that payday. Or maybe a young wealthy merchant. Hmm. And it's love at first sight. Oh. How romantic. Yeah. For a... Oh, what? She just grew her wings? What the fuck? Oh, stop it. You're daydreaming what? again. Such silly thoughts will get the pals milk. Oh, they're, they're cows, but they're pigs. I get like it. That's that. why they're called pows. Heaven knows what he'd do to a country girl like Whoa, you. hang on, what? He'd play with your head and leave you the moment he finds another young girl. Jeez. Just because well, we have wings probably true. doesn't mean we should be fluttering on such childish dreams. Man, preach. Stand your feet firmly on the ground <laughs> and take careful steps, slowly but surely. This is such a Japanese methodology, That's isn't it? It's like, don't, don't aim village. too high or don't... No, don't aim too high, but don't like, don't get carried away with your, your daydreaming and stuff. <laughs> I know, I know, but everyone likes to flutter on about romantic dreams at my age. Sure do, especially when they're all their life is milk and pows. You can dream all you want, once you finish your chores. Damn right, get, get back to milking that pig cow. Yeah. Sure is, kiddo. Let's go. See that girl there? She's <laughs> see that girl there? She's probably daydreaming about fair cat, even now as she makes the pow. She might be smitten by fair fair cat, but she's an amazing pow milker. It's kind of ironic, I think. What? Let's see if there's stuff. The pot is filled with freshly squeezed milk. It smells sweet and delicious. If we had some kind of container, we'd be able to carry this. Let's leave it for now. Okay, so I can steal some milk. Clear. Sweet. Animal droppings are in the bucket. They smell as bad as you might expect. If we had some kind of container, we could... Uh, anyway, let's fucking move on, shall we? Hey, oh. you're the one Mima I saved, right? Yeah, why does everybody sound like they're stuck in a bottle? I think the uh, recording, aud the audio recording is a wee bit weird. Oh, Let's there's me, my there. I assume. Because uh, she's colourful and everyone else isn't. What the fuck is that? Whoa. Is this him? <laughs> her? Me, my? Is this who brought me here? Seriously? I thought it was a girl. Uh huh. Me, my? Oh, really? really? Okay. Cool. He's way smarter than oh, all I said boy as well. Way smarter than all the drunks. What? <laughs> I don't know what Sweet. he's talking about, kid. Well, thanks, me, my. I owe you one. Yeah. Squeak! It looks like a little, like, space opera or something. <laughs> thanks, me, my. So who's this? She looks like she's important. I think she's a main character. Are you a traveler, too? Might be. What, I what came to see the ancient ruins in the woods near here. How about you? My, uh, my grandfather died two years ago and I woke up here. <laughs> oh, who's this coming? Some stiffs. Oh, don't talk to this guy, he's crazy. Okay, let's run away. I have to go. My, my home planet needs me. <laughs> she just flies away, that'd be amazing. Oh well, thanks. Bye, little guy. See you, Mimai. Man, what a fucking cock block that guy is. 
I just wanted to chat up some hot blonde girl and she's like, don't talk to him. Oh well, away they go. I have a name, you know. Yeah. C E D R. Cedar. That's not how you spell cedar. <laughs> They're crazy, huh, me and I? Why bother going all the way down there just to see some stupid old ruins? Yeah. Nobody in this village will even go near those woods. They say it's cursed or something. I hope they don't get jumped by a wild animals Terrible curse. There. Yeah, they'll get attacked by did. rock cats. Hey, I heard that. Yeah, really. Ha. Huh. I know, I'm such an idiot. I hope they're not too. Ancient ruins in Moongao Forest, eh? Why don't we go have a look ourselves? Who the hell are you talking to? Are you talking to me? Like, are you aware of my existence? I don't know. Anyway, thanks for joining me on episode one of Bait and Kytos. We've got a bit of a mystery on our hands. Who the hell are we? We're this Kalos guy, age 18. No, fantastic. What are we doing? Where are we going? Why are we here? Answer all these questions and more on the next episode. Catch you then. Oh. <laughs>